guys, some of you guys might already know that I am a fully qualified hair extension specialist. I used to work for a hair extension company back in Australia for two years and I loved it there. You know, my, I, I got along with my boss really well and together we both embarked on a journey to learn everything about hair and hair extensions. And to come to think about it now, it kind of has benefited me because now I can tell you guys everything that I know about hair extensions. So in the salon, we actually do a consultation where we sit down with our client and we go through the process of finding out what is the reason why they want hair extensions and the end result. Therefore, you can determine what type of hair extensions best suit you and your lifestyle. The most common ones I can mention right now is people who have extremely fine hair. What I mean by fine hair is that they might have a lot of hair, but the strands are so fine that they want to create more volume. There's also other reasons like hiding a bad haircut or they want highlights in their hair but don't necessarily want to dye it. There's also ones where they just want a bit of length because it's impossible for, for them to grow out their hair because their hair has been so damaged from you know bleach or chemicals. So once you determine what is the reasons that, that you want your hair extensions and what is the end result that you want to achieve, then can we know what type of hair extensions we can do for your hair. So firstly, I want to categorize the hair extension into two categories, semi-permanent hair extensions and then there is the temporary hair extensions. So the semi-permanent hair extensions are the ones that kind of last in your hair for about three to six months. Um, it depending on like, I guess, how, you, how well you look after them and also how well the, health, the hair holds up. Then after that certain amount of time, you will need to get them moved up or replaced. Um, also, it comes in like various tips. You get the eye tips, the U-tips, the, the tape hair, the weaves. I mean, there's so many different systems on how to apply these kind of hair. You can either use shrinkies or beads or like glue and tape, but let's not go into that because I'll be there talking about it forever. The temporary hair extensions are kind of like the webbed hair that you clip onto your hair when you want to wear them and then you take them off when you don't. They're probably the least damaging and it's so easy to apply that you can do them yourself in your own home. So today I'm going to show you how to apply weft clipping hair extensions. Here is a packet of the abhair.com hair extensions. They, um, I ordered this when I actually had brown hair, so just excuse the color, but so I thought why not show you anyways because then you can better see where I've actually placed the um, hair extensions knowing that if this was the same color as my hair it would blend in perfectly. But also I've ordered it in the 24 inch um, and it's actually the Remy human hair and it's in wavy. The reason why I like to use wavy hair when, it when I'm trying out um, hair extensions is because wavy hair is actually probably the most difficult want to process in terms of when making the um, hair extension. So if it's a good quality wavy hair, then they'll definitely have very good quality straight hair. Anyways, I'm gonna open the packet and show you. This is how it's, this is how it comes packaged. They have a tag here and it's secured with a um, plastic security thing, whatever you wanna call it. And then it comes with two extra clips for in case something falls off. And also comes with great instructions manuals in there. So first of all, I like to say from just touching the hair, it is actually really nice and silky. The only problem I have with this that is because it's so tapered at the ends, I really wouldn't consider this 24 inch. I would actually consider this 18 inch because I probably most likely will be chopping off this much of the hair on the bottom. Um, in terms of color, I can see they have like, they have really made it really natural because it's not just one color, it's actually multi-dimensional. And also because it's nice and tapered, I think if you have already layered hair, this will blend in beautifully and you won't need to actually go to the salon to have this dry cut into your natural hair. However, I will show you today how I would blend this with my hair and how I would actually just sort of trim the ends just to make it a little bit more um, healthy looking, but also just blending a little bit more better. This is actually great because right now my hair is so layered and so thin that I think this actually will make my hair look a lot better, just if it was in black. Two, three clip wefts. Three piece of the two clip wefts. And then you get two pieces of the one clip, which are great for the sides of your hair. So now I'm gonna quickly show you how I would apply them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just section my hair with my fingers and just grabbing most of it, probably like two thirds of it. And I'm gonna just secure that onto the top with a clip, like so. So that, therefore you can actually better see where I've actually 
replacing the hair extension. So to better allow the hair extension to stay longer, you need to have dirty hair. And to help with that is you spray a little bit of um, hairspray just at the area that you're gonna apply the um, clip. And then I'm gonna use this comb and I'm gonna just sort of do a little bit of like back combing. Now I'm gonna apply my first layer of the hair extensions. How to unclip them so you just you flip the clips like this, like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the middle clip first and just center that in the middle. And what you can do is help just do a little round circles until you feel like you've created a knot and then you just clip it to your head. This clips on. So do the same thing on the side. You do a little round circle until you've created some sort of knot and then you just secure it. Same, the side, just twirl it around until you created a knot and then clip. And that's how you would apply the first layer. So the next layer, same thing, we're just gonna let this hair down. And I'm gonna take half of my hair and uh, bring this up here. is basically the widest part so what I'm going to do I'm just going to just take only the crown of my hair up and because we have three sections of the two clip wefts we're going to place that all around the crown of the head so grabbing the first two clip weft I'm going to unclip it first and then placing that right in the center so again do two swirls until you find a knot and then clip this does not have to be perfect because you're gonna cover your hair anyway, so we're gonna to have to um, style it and blend it in. So now that I actually have the hair extensions in, I have two more left, which is the single clip-on, and basically you can clip this anywhere. Usually people like on the side if you don't have a lot of um, hair on the side. So I'm just gonna quickly show you where I would place them. Probably, preferably in an area that you don't see. So I'm gonna actually put this right underneath here. So just got more volume here, that's all. And same for the other one. Just gonna flip my hair up and just gonna grab hair here. And again, just do two little, or well, couple of little turns until you create some sort of knot and then clip. And that's it. So this is how easy it is to apply weft hair. You can do this at home, you can do this without a mirror even. So now I'm just gonna quickly show you how I would actually trim this hair because you can see how it is really laid on, on the ends. What I will, now that I have it in my hair, so I can kind of see where my hair would stop naturally and then how I would taper it. So basically you're just grabbing, splitting your hair in the middle and just grabbing one side. Hopefully you've got a hair cutting scissors or if not just some sort of stainless steel pointy scissors. And you're just going to twist the ends like this and then you're just gonna cut it upwards like that. The great thing about human hair is that you can be, you can perm them, you can curl them, you can dye them, you can do anything to them. So I'm just using my flat iron here. So now I've just tried to attempt to do one side just to show you the difference when it's actually curled and blended into a natural hair. So it actually doesn't look that bad even though it's two different colors. So basically, as you can see, you can, you can definitely curl them, you can use heat on them, they're totally fine, they're not gonna die, and you can even wash them as well. But I wouldn't suggest you washing them unless you put a ton of product in there and you need to get the gunk out. This is pretty much the end result and how I would actually just sort of curl my hair and blend it in properly. Obviously, to better do this, I would actually need to um, individually you know, strain all of the wavy hair first and then curl them together. But just to, just to show you the rough idea on how well it blend, and actually, to my surprise, one of my colleagues just walked in before and she did, totally did not notice that I had hair extensions in. So this is how natural it does look in real person. Anyways, if you guys are interested, I will leave a link below down there with a promotion code so you can get um, some discount if you want to purchase some hair from abhair.com. 
Um, I will also leave the link of this specific type of hair that I have chosen for this although I like I said to you before the reason why I chose wavy hair was just to see the quality I mean if you have straight hair don't get a wavy hair just get straight hair they're 100% human hair which means you can dye them so if their color is like completely off and if you want to dye your hair like I did black then you can actually dye these hair extensions black if you wish to so don't freak out anyways I hope this was interesting and I hope this was also very educational and if you are interested in finding out more about the semi-permanent hair um, extensions that I've mentioned before in this video like about how to actually apply them using beads, shrinkies or weaving, like and comment on this video so I know and also comment below and let me know what else you'd like to know about hair extensions. Maybe I'll do another video on how to apply them maybe. And I also want to tell you all of the, about all of the myths and like must knows you need to know before getting semi-permanent hair extensions because there are so much things you need to know that help you and prevent you from further damaging your hair because I mean some of the reasons why you wanted to get hair extension is to maybe protect your hair from you know hair dye or like you want to grow your hair out but if you're damaging your hair then you're not actually cause you're not actually achieving what you wanted to in the first place so anyways without me rambling more about it I will let you guys go I'll see you in my next video bye